funds for Amazon? Correct. So you're central investigation, so do you work directly for Amazon? Correct. You do? Yeah. You're not a third party? Correct. Okay. So your central investigations, um, okay, go ahead. Fair enough. Now, keep the questions coming, whatever you got. Um, yeah, so generally what happens if, a, you know, somebody calls the ethics line or something like that, then depending on what the case is, the case gets routed to us or it gets routed back to the site HR to deal with, right? And so that's, that's kind of the, the matrix of it all. But I guess I'm just a little uh, confused that there's an HR within the building, but you're calling from Oregon. So that's kind of what threw me off. But carry on. Yeah, yeah. No, I get them all over the country. Yeah, that's why I said we uh, we don't we're not assigned to a specific site per se. Mm -hmm. We get uh, we're all over the country. So anywhere the case comes in from, we'll we'll investigate it. Hmm, like, interesting. Yeah. I know. Well, yeah, yeah. It leads to a lot of unbiased, right? You know, meaning we're not you know specifically assigned to a specific group and. You know, specific manager, so really just, you know, it's the luck of the draw. You know, mm -hmm. I may get a case, one case in New York, you know, uh, I may get a hundred of them. You know, you know it's funny because I guess I'm posing that question because it's funny yeah. during recent months um, there's been a lot of employee relations and they talk about you know the fact that unionizing could potentially disconnect an employee from their manager and this open door policy but you're calling me from Oregon when I have a manager at the warehouse and I have HR and it is their responsibility to be unbiased so it shouldn't take an outside representative to um, address a situation and be unbiased. So I guess that was a little confusing to me. But however, so you received some information. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So we get cases. Uh, they come through the ethics line. People, you know, share concerns, complaints, what have you. Uh, you're familiar with HR and how HR works, you know, to a degree. Um, anywho, uh, so super quick, uh, obviously whenever we do investigations in this fashion, they're confidential. I don't share what you tell me. I don't, I don't go and uh, tell the other person or the other parties. Uh, I don't share with management. Uh, it's really just you know information gathering to determine whether or not a policy violation has or has not occurred. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that. Uh, you know, obviously to maintain confidentiality and we expect the same uh, open, honest, and accurate uh, with all answers. We uh, what else? strictly prohibit harassment and retaliation against any of the complainants or the witnesses. And then the conversation will not be recorded, nor does Amazon consent to the recording of it. Can you confirm that you are not recording? No, I cannot, but you can move forward. Meaning you are recording? I live in the state of New York, and New York is a one-party consent. And if you are going to, um, you know, if you're going to disclose to me an allegation that was made um, against me, then, yes, I want it documented. So what is the allegation? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, an associate reported that you had approached them at some point and said, uh, and I quote, that Heather has a lot of good things to say. You know what that's about? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, the quote was, that Heather has a lot of good things to say. I'm, I'm so confused right now. Saying, do you recall saying that at all? Wait, <laughs> let me get this straight. Are you calling to tell me you're investigating a complaint that I said Heather has a lot of good things to say? Is that the allegation? That is the allegation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Heather has a lot of good things to say? That's an allegation? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I, I'm waiting for this violation or an allegation are you are you saying that there was a complaint filed because I potentially said and I'm Heather by the way 
So right. Heather Not has a lot work. of good things to say. Is that the allegation? That is the allegation. You actually took a complaint, and you're actually calling me with an allegation that simply implies that I, Heather, said out loud, Heather has a lot of good things to say. I'm sorry, is there a level of... Um, is there is there a level of concern here? I, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't get to pick and choose. You know, obviously, there's more to it than that. But I don't understand. But, like, where is the? Um, but here's what I don't understand. What are you? What policy could possibly be violated by anyone making a statement? Heather has a lot of good, because it's also true, by the way, um, that I do have a lot of good th things to say. Many people have a lot of good things to say, as is their right as a human being. So where is, so I'm sorry, what policy are you indicating that I violated with this potential statement? That I am not at liberty to share. You can tell me what policy I'm being accused of violating. What is the policy that you are investigating that I violated? Yeah, they, that, that's not at stake here. I'm literally trying to assess the situation. And I'm trying, trying to fill in the blank. I'm trying to figure out why, wait a minute, what policy could, <laughs> where is there a policy that I could have violated with this statement? That's what I'm confused about. Okay, well, is that you not, put yourself in the person's shoes. The person whose shoes that made the complaint, do you, how do you think that, you know, what are they alleging they felt at the time? To be, uh, wait a minute. Are you saying, what policy could be violated by me saying to anyone outside, inside, at any time, Heather has a lot of good things to say? Are you actually telling me that there is potentially a policy that could be violated by anyone making a statement that they might have a lot of good things to say? I'm so confused right now. I wouldn't be on the phone otherwise. What is the policy that I could be violating by making such a, a broad statement if in fact that what was said? Heather has a lot of good things to say and you're telling me there was a policy violation in that statement? not telling you there's a policy violation. I'm asking you what the conversation was. I have no idea. What led to that statement. I okay. have no. absolutely no idea. But you know what? I'm sorry. Can I call you right back in two minutes? Uh, okay, sure. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'll call you right back. <laughs> Hold on. Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice. Um, I'm just dealing with a lot. So um, so I apologize and thank you for that. Um, thank you for that brief no, All right, so I, I'm fine. sorry. I'm, I'm trying to process this and I just want to clarify. So do sure. you have a date, a place that this, this alleged conversation occurred? Uh, bear with me, I can get that for you. Sure. You know, like I said, in and of itself, com comments have no credence, right? But, you know, people get speaked by whatever they get speaked by. Um, they, you know, you know how things are. Like I said, my job is really just to ask the question, understand what, what happened and why. Uh, it looks like around 8.25, somewhere in there. Okay, so let me get this straight. On August 25th, Apparently, I said out loud, Heather has a lot of good things to say. And by the way, you know that I am the union campaign manager. I'm an ALU executive board member. So I'm very confident that I do have a lot of great things to say. And actually, people respond well to those great things that I say. So if Heather Goodall made a comment that Heather has a lot of great things to say, I'm still very confused 
on what policy was violated that would constitute an HR investigation. So I need to know what policy I am being accused of violating. That is critical. What policy am I violating by saying out loud, if that is the case, Heather has a lot of good things to say. I didn't swear. I didn't, I wasn't, so where, I'm sorry, was somebody offended by the fact that Heather Goodall has a lot of good things to say? Is that what you're telling me? I would use the word offended. I would say intimidated. Intimidated by Heather having a lot of good things to say? Hmm. So their words, their words, not mine. They were intimidated by saying, if somebody feels intimidated, here's what I have to tell you. It didn't come from me. There clearly is another agenda that, um, you know, and the funny thing is, I actually have had several articles come out that employees feel threatened in the warehouse by employee relations, the meetings, the, uh, the phone calls, the text messages, the bathrooms being flooded with propaganda throughout the warehouse. So the fact that you're actually calling to tell me that an employee potentially felt threatened by a statement such as Heather has a lot of great things to say when people feel harassed. So you know what, this sounds like a form of retaliation one of Amazon's attempts to distort the reality. This is called projection. And projection is an opportunity for Amazon to take the weight off of them intimidating people and place it on the union campaign leader. And that's unacceptable. So I'd like to know what policy was violated if, in fact, a statement was made by Heather that said, Heather has a lot of good things to say because this happens to be one of the most outrageous accusations I think I've ever heard. So what policy could potentially be violated? It would be the standards of conduct. Really? You're telling me that I violated a policy and a standard of conduct by simply saying... Let's back it up here. Let's, let's get one thing clear here. Okay. You know, and then this is not this is not an adversarial thing by any means. You know, my job, somebody reports something into there. My job is I have to interview people and understand what happened. You know, people feel this way all the time. Union, non-union, it doesn't matter. People feel that way. My job as an HR representative is to ask questions. Or, you know, something innocuous is bad. Don't you? I have no idea. People can feel the way they okay, do. Okay, so but you know what? Here's there. the thing. Okay. I feel offended. I feel threatened. Okay. okay? By the very fact that you have absolutely no foundation to take this complaint. If an employee went to the lengths of saying something as simple as, Heather has a lot of good things to say. I'm actually the one that's violated right now. You have violated my rights. I have the freedom to speak about how I feel about what I say. Is that not true? Okay. Okay, no. Is that not true? Do I not I have, have the... do I not live in the United States where we have freedom to speak? especially if it's about our own opinion. Actually, if anything, that statement is a little arrogant, and I'll own that because I'm very confident in the work that I'm doing, my relationship with workers, and the fact that Amazon is digging so deep to take something as simple as a statement, Heather has a lot of great things to say. How about the other employees that would agree with that statement? Should I send around a petition to workers to say, do you agree that Heather has a lot of great things to say? How about we do that? Only Which, up to you. I mean, well, hey, if this is an investigation into that statement, maybe we should see if a majority of workers agree with that statement and are not offended. And if somebody's offended by that, that is... <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're really, really reaching here. So I cannot confirm if, in fact, that statement was made. And if it was, okay. I have to tell you that a majority of workers would probably agree that Heather has a lot of great things to say. I don't think so. so Heather, educate me, would you? And this is just you and I talking. I don't know anything about the ALU. Can you walk me through what that is and what, 
what their role is. You don't know what the Amazon Labor Union is? I don't. I don't. I'm fairly new to Amazon. Interesting. Okay. Well, the Amazon Labor Union is the worker-led movement that made history against Amazon. The Amazon Labor Union is a group of workers that demand for better working conditions, fair pay, and to, uh, re to demand a better quality of life. And the worker-led movement of the ALU is demonstrating that even Amazon's billion-dollar bully cannot withstand the workers who are demanding for fair treatment. That's what the ALU is. And we are fighting to unionize in Albany. Our election is October 12th, 13th, 15th, and 17th. So clearly Amazon is going to do everything they can to shut this down, but it's not going to happen to the point where they're actually having a worker make an allegation that Heather has a lot of great things to say because it's true. We are fighting for higher wages and Amazon doesn't want to pay. They made $12 billion on Prime Day. And do you know what they did with that money? Didn't give one dime to any of the workers and actually, our warehouse, just so that you know, is the number one Amazon warehouse in the entire state of New York for injuries at a rate of 22.3 per hundred. Those are the facts that Heather has a lot of good things to say about. I'm presenting the facts of the matter to the workers during this yeah. fight, and we will win. So I have to tell you, when Heather comes to the warehouse with facts like hey amazon made 12 billion dollars well we lost a worker in new jersey dying to fill those orders and we didn't get one dime of that money we are demanding that amazon share those profits with the workers that make it possible because without the workers they don't have a profit and they fail to realize that so their negligence has led the alu to this historic movement and we will continue to win and clearly amazon is afraid they have thirty two hundred dollar a day union busters in there well our workers are making fifteen dollars and ninety five cents an hour injured at a rate of 22. We've had over 150 ambulances arrive at ALB1. Oh, yes. So what, what is going Actually, on in the last week, okay, I've had, is, in the last week, I've talked to three workers that were hired as a person with disability receiving SSI, one of Amazon's handsome tax rewards, tax benefits. However, those employees, when uh, it came time to accommodate them, they pushed them out the door. And that's not going to happen with a union. That's why they're trying to shut it down. So the Amazon Labor Union is an incredible historic movement for workers, by workers, that cannot be shut down even with Amazon's billion-dollar profits. And that is an incredible statement that we're making. Our $15 an hour yeah. warehouse workers are more powerful than all of the money that Amazon has. And we don't care. We're going to keep the fight up. So if somebody says Heather has a lot of uh, great things to say is offending, that's a them problem. Because I do have a lot of great things to say. Some people just don't want to hear the truth. But they don't have to listen. That's the wonderful thing. If somebody doesn't, you know, like what I have to say, they can respectfully walk away. But to file an allegation against me yeah. is, is absolutely a form of harassment in my mind. I feel harassed. I feel threatened, and you know what? But I'm going to rise above it, and I'm going to continue the fight. But for now, I'm going to tell you, I don't remember saying that, but if I did, I stand by that because we are okay. going we are going to continue this union vote, and this is the most ridiculous accusation I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> I've got one to top you that. I've been doing this for a long time, but one of the better ones was... Uh, Disability discrimination because uh, somebody was lactose intolerant and they brought uh, cheese pizza to a uh, employee meeting. That was one of the better ones. Is this an Amazon? Uh, no, it wasn't oh. Amazon. It was another company. But yes. I mean, it was just. So, so I appreciate you calling. I appreciate you talking. But this actually sounds like a form of retaliation and harassment against Heather Goodall. And, you know, I would like a copy of the complaint and I would like a copy of what the final outcome is so that I can just move forward. Yeah, understood. And then, you know, keep in mind, you're, you were certainly in your role where you were more than welcome to call HR and file a complaint of your own. So, you know, that is, fortunately, that's 
how things are done these days. But um, Well, clearly there's no basis for this well. allegation. So, yeah. you know, I have more important things to do, um, and I can't believe that Amazon has actually paying people to... Uh, to continue this violation of my rights. So um, I appreciate you calling, and I suspect that this will be closed without any further challenges. I would like to think so, too. Sounds yeah. good. Very good. Uh, well, like I said, I, my role, don't shoot the messenger here. I have to uh, nope. talk to everybody when I can play through. So anyway, I appreciate you hearing me. Thank you for educating me definitely interested now uh, mm -hmm. learning more about this please but, do it's anyway, fantastic um, yeah if you have any questions anything comes up by all means feel free to reach out to me you know my name you know my number yes. so happy to be a resource and advocate for you in any way I can okay I appreciate that thank you so much for your time you're welcome mm -hmm. have a great day you too bye bye